Hey there, Cancer. My name's Trudy. I'm your Poetry Gypsy Angel Medium, and this is your September 2021 reading inspired by Wookie Girl. All right. So, um, yeah, I needed to break up the energy. We're going to be using the Shadowland Tarot. September 2021 for my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any other placements that you may be looking for. Cross Watcher, hey baby, I see you. I feel you. Speaking of feeling, if you want a private exchange of energies with me and you're feeling it, click on the description box below and follow the instructions. We've got new pricing, so definitely get excited. We've got new content coming. And um, if you haven't already clicked on the subscribe button, the red subscribe button activates 10 years of good luck. So go ahead and activate it now. All right, so I'm going to cut the deck. They said, take a look at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, page of wands. All right, so the wands are talking about your passion, your drive, your initiative, your motivation, okay? And so you're feeling like you need a new spark, but the spark is kind of gone. Okay, and so why I'm excited? Because you're entering the fall season feeling like you need a spark. And the fall season is where everything kind of dies down. So you're not going to be in that complacent mindset of like going into this cold, frigid, fetal position of the, of the cold winter. Instead, you're activating yourself and you're preparing to continue to be activated and motivated throughout the cold winter. So I like this. All right, so from the top, whoa. So the Queen of Wands, yeah, it's what I was saying. You're feeling a lack of motivation. You're feeling a lack of get up and go energy, Cancer. You need somebody to come and like, maybe be a drill sergeant and kick your butt out of bed. <laughs> oh, and scream and shout at you until you get out of bed. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. I'm like, mm, poor baby, because I feel sorry for you. Like that's what you need is a good kick in the behind. Okay, anyways. So um, the page of swords, you got another page here. You're acting like a fucking baby or you're dealing with somebody who is acting like a baby um, because the page of swords here, somebody who needs to speak their truth, but they're scared to. In this picture, she's a lonely girl and I get this, you know, like her shoulders right up by her head. So it feels like she's kind of like standing like this which, you know, like when somebody's doing this, it's kind of like a sense of insecurity. Whereas when you're standing tall with a long neck, it's, it gives you a sense of security. But doing this is like, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You know what I mean? So like that energy there, like you're not sure of yourself. You're not sure of your next step. You're not sure of where or what you want to do, where you want to go if you're doing the right thing. I am just getting a great deal of uncertainty, but the one thing that you do know, and you're not talking about it and you're not acting on it, whatever it is that you do know, you're keeping it to yourself. And so that's what's being uh, a call to action. That might even be the name of the reading for you here, Cancer. Wow, a call to action. All right, and then we got the Nine of Pentacles. And maybe you're not making a move because you're feeling like this caged bird. Normally, the Nine of Pentacles is talking about that bird got it going on. That bird got the finest feathers. That bird got feathers of all these different colors. That bird got everything. The awesomest nest. Okay, but in this case, that super fly bird 
with a banging body and the awesome feathers is caged you know so you're always with the nine of pentacles is the energy of you know you got it all except for that one thing and and in this case that one thing is your freedom because you're not talking about it i don't know what it is that you're not talking about it but whatever it is that you're not talking about is your fucking freedom it's going to set you free so the truth will set you free all right this is the obstacle wow that wasn't the obstacle now this is the obstacle is the eight of pentacles <laughs> okay so the eight of pentacles is again talking about that which will set you free <laughs> the truth will set you free okay so uh if you can't talk about it, paint about it, write about it, sing about it, dance about it, do something creative and artistic about it because you need to transmute that energy because transmuting that energy can also set you free. So here's the advice. Maybe transmuting or talking about the energy or making a reference to the energy or transforming the energy in and of itself is difficult for you and that's why it's coming up as the obstacle. So we've got the Six of Cups, and here, somebody wants to get together. Let's, let's stay together. All right, I'm hearing it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, somebody wants to get together and break bread with you, have tea, go out for coffee and they really want to get together. Like they're starting it off as something casual, perhaps with other people so that it's not just what they want to talk about, but this person wants to start something with you and I don't know if you know who I'm talking about because it's a baby energy and they don't I don't think they've ever blah, 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 blah. they've never told you this before. They never let you This is new. This is new, and this is gonna catch you off guard, so. And now when I look at the bottom of the deck, you know, we got the Eight of Cups here, and this is you, like, wounded warrior, walking away from the love cups, walking away from all the love stories because they left you depleted. They left you Cold, lost, alone, loveless, naked, and desperate. Ah! So you don't want to go through that again. And, uh, well, this person wants to make you a love offer, but they don't really know how to make their way in. So they're starting by breaking bread with you with others also. And this is going to be a difficult task. And, well, I am just going to leave it there. If you want more details, I guess this... I'm getting different timelines here because this could be somebody from the past for some of you. This could be somebody entirely new for some of you. And this could be uh, just a passing by energy for others. I've got so many different timelines on it, all right? So, anyway, Scorpio, I love you so much. Let me back love yourself. Love everybody around you. Mwah.